Hello, welcome to today's devotional. I want to talk about the topic God's timing. God's timing. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that you cause your word to have roots in our hearts, feed us with your word, energize us as we go into to this work in Jesus' name. Amen. So today we're talking about God's timing. Exodus chapter 14, 27, verse 4. Verses 27 and 28. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, and he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well. And also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee. And when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. And the Lord said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. And he went and met him in the mount of God and kissed him. And Moses told Aaron all the words of the Lord who had sent him and all the signs which he had commanded him. Praise God. We know there is a time and a season for everything, for every activity in the world. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Verse 1, to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven. God has his own timing. God has a way he does his things. We know God doesn't live in time. God lives in eternity. What we call years, months, uh, weeks, days, these are just the fragmentation of a little split of eternity. And then for the purpose of reckoning and accountability and times and seasons, they are split into different categories, decades, years, centuries, months. God himself comes into time for the sake of relating with humans. So when God wants to do things, he has his own set time to do things. If God wants you to do something, he would also set a time for it. Now let's look at the story of today. God told Moses to move. And then he told him that his brother Aaron was coming to him. Remember, there was no telephone, no letter. It was God who from Aaron, he told Moses when to move and he told Aaron when to move. And both of them met in the wilderness at the Mount of God. There was a particular place both of them met, met at the mountain of God. Look at the timing. The timing was so perfect. Many of us want God's will to be done in our lives. But how many of us are actually following the timing of God? When God sets a time for a particular thing, when the time comes, He prompts the heart of men. He moved the hearts of men. Sometimes you have a burden in your heart. God wants you to do something. God wants you to do something. You may not hear from heaven God speaking from heaven directly, but it could be a burden, it could be a thought in your heart, and it could be very, very heavy, prompting you, God prompting you to do something. Please, when you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. God has his own timing. Let's also look at the story of Philip. Philip, in Acts of Apostles chapter 26, verse 2, 29. We see the story and we can see very clearly that God has his own timing. God told Philip to move. Let's read a few verses. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go to the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went. Philip went immediately. He did not delay. Look at what happened. As Philip went, 
he saw the Ethiopian eunuch in motion. If he had delayed, the Ethiopian eunuch who brought the gospel to Africa would have been missed. He would have gone back to Ethiopia with his confusion. He was reading the book of Isaiah and he had no understanding. If God is prompting your heart to do something, do not delay. But just be very sure that this is God talking to me. Be very, very sure. Verify it that this is not my mind. This is not my spirit talking to me. This is God's voice speaking to me. This is the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Follow God's timing. Has God told you that something is going to happen and it hasn't happened? It could be that it's not God's timing. Be watchful. Watch and see when God's timing is. God has a time, has a set time and set season for everything, for every activity under heaven. Do not sleep and wake and think that things are going to come to pass on their own without following God's own timing. If you know it is God's timing, go into action. If God prompts your heart to move into action, please move into action. What is that thing that God is prompting your heart to do? What is that particular thing that God wants you to start? Go ahead and do it. So long as you are convinced that this is the time of God, this is the timing that God has set for this particular activity, let us pray. Lord, we pray that you help us to understand the times like the children of Issachar and also help us to spring into action anytime you prompt in our hearts to move into action. As we go into this day and as we continue with our work this day, we ask the Lord God that you will go with us and help us. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Please subscribe to this channel and also share this message. Recommend this channel to other people and the good Lord will bless you in Jesus' name.